It was the end of the season, 2013, and I couldn't believe what I'd seen. Went three and nine just one year ago. We couldn't even win an SEC game. Lo and behold, we actually won the Iron Bowl. And I was as happy as a lark. I got on Facebook and I started to post. That's when things started turning real dark. I lost my family Facebook friends because of a damn football game. I think it's a pity and a shame. But the good news is that they all took the vote and elected me to the Asshole Hall of Fame. So I kind of retreated and I did some deleting and offered up my best apology. That didn't work, it just made matters worse. You'd have thought I'd poisoned one of their trees. So I did what any self-respecting man would do. I exercised my right to be free. So I did some unfriending, it's not a happy ending. But now I can post what I please. I lost my Bama Facebook friends cause of a damn football game. I think it's a pity and a shame. But the good news is that they all took the vote and elected me to the asshole Hall of Fame. So the moral of this story is not about fame and glory. It's about winning and keeping your mouth shut. Unless you pull from Bama, and then you can yammer and cheer Rama Jammer all day and all night. So please listen to me, take this advice. When you hear it, you'll know that I'm right. Don't get caught posting negative about old Nick Saban unless you're ready for one hell of a fight. I lost my Bama Facebook friends cause of a damn football game. I think it's a pity and a shame. The good news is that they all held a vote. They elected me to the asshole Hall of Fame. Yeah, the good news is that they all held a vote and elected me to the asshole Hall of Fame. War Eagle.